Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a long, long time since I've done a favorites video. I kind of gave up on monthly favorites this year. <laughs> I think since having Alessia, it just went downhill. But I'm ready to do another one. November is my birthday month, so it's one of my favorite months, obviously. It always has been, like, I just, even though we don't celebrate Thanksgiving anymore, I used to love Thanksgiving when I was little and I just love the kind of autumn feel that goes with November. A lot of people think November is grey and gloomy and like wintry, but for me November is still like autumn-y. This favourite is a little bit of a hot mess or a mishmash of different products. I feel like my favourites are very... How would I describe them? They're not very glam, shall we say. So, but they're what I actually use and what I actually have been loving. So I don't really know how else to <laughs> do these because I want them to be real. If you're looking for like a high quality like video where I do cutaways and montages and it's all premium, high quality, cool, amazing products, then this video is not for you. But if you want to see the likes of uh, in Grogo <laughs> and also muesli <laughs> then keep watching i think we're going to start with beauty i don't have a lot in beauty because to tell you the truth i don't buy a lot of beauty products i just kind of stick with what i know and what works for me but i will never pass up a good palette eyeshadow palette and this one was actually in my p.o box and i've only used it like a handful of times so it's kind of like a later favorite but i have been using it this month and i do really really love it so i had to mention it it's by buxom and it is the may contain nudity eyeshadow palette this is for all of you girls out there that are like me and just love your eyeshadow palettes especially your naked palettes or your nude palettes it's your basic kind of like nudes neutrals if you don't like gold then you probably won't like this palette it's quite warm i will say it's more warm than cool or than neutral even and the shades that i've been using are satin seduction uh all over my lid and then i use this one which is gold status on my lid and then in the crease i use this matte one which is gimme gorgeous and then big spender which is this one here they're two mattes i use them in the crease and i just really like this the snake skin's quite cool i like how tiny it is like this is far more practical than your normal eyeshadow palette where there's a hundred different colors and you use like three or at least that's what's happened what happens to me so really love that one the eyeshadows are extremely pigmented though so when you use them do not be heavy-handed with it because otherwise you'll just end up getting like big blocks of color you really need to go light-handed and blend next is my perfume which i am a huge fan of the victor and rolf i can never remember the name of it but it is the oh i can't remember the name of it but it's got a big bow is it bonbon is that what it's called i think it's called bonbon it's got the big bow that is going to be on my christmas list this year because i've just run out but they sent me this which is flower bomb bloom now flower bomb i featured in my favorites before i do like it but the scent is quite harsh for me so it's kind of like a nice grown-up scent but i feel like sometimes it's just too harsh and especially after having a baby so like when you have a baby you kind of want to tone down your perfumes anyway or at least ask other people around you to tone it down because otherwise you get your baby back and they smell of somebody else's perfume and it's just not nice they just pick up on your scent so much and so i kind of toned it down with my perfumes anyway around the time i had alessia and that one was just too strong but this one is flower bomb bloom they sent this to me a while ago. It's taken me this long. And this is a lighter, it's kind of like a lighter fragrance, a lighter variation of Flower Bomb. And I actually prefer this right now for me. I feel like, I know it's probably like a spring type uh, perfume, but I like it. So if you're on the market for a new perfume, check this one out. If you like floral scents but you don't want it to be too harsh i cannot remember if i have mentioned this one before if i have i really apologize but as i said i just don't buy a lot of products but this is bare minerals bare skin 
can't really see. It's just a powder that you would keep in your handbag. I keep it in my handbag, in my little makeup bag that I keep in there. And it's got a sponge underneath, which is quite cool. But I actually take a brush because I just prefer the application that a brush gives. This is in the shade medium and it's called Bare Skin Perfecting Veil. And kind of like Mineral Veil, but not really. It's not as messy as Mineral Veil. This will just blot your makeup and like keep it in place and um blot out any shine that you have which i have oily skin so i struggle with shine all the time which i know people are always like you should be thankful because it means your skin will look younger for longer but it is kind of annoying so you guys know that i use the obagi cleansy derm range for my skin however sometimes things run out and instead of buying just one i like to buy the whole collection all together so Lately, my pore therapy has run out, which is the toner. And I have been using this, which has been a lifesaver because this is by Fab, First Aid Beauty. And it's their Skin Rescue Blemish Patrol Pads. I used to use their like regular ones, I think, like their normal ones. But these are specifically for um, acne prone skin, which I am. They have salicylic acid in them, so they're very, very similar to pore therapy. They're probably not as strong, but for that in-between stage where like I haven't purchased it yet or I'm waiting for my other products to waste out before I purchase another one of those pore therapy, because they're expensive and I like to just buy them in a bundle. This is just really good for that, for like that in-between phase when I just need something to tie me over. They come just like this this is actually two together but they're just little pads they've got like a quilted side and then like a plain side and they're very wet the first aid beauty stuff is all safe for sensitive skin i do like their stuff uh, i just use this like twice a day after cleansing and i find that that it works the same as the pore therapy again it's probably not as strong but it does have salicylic acid in there so it's good if you've got acne prone skin this is a kiehl's moisturizer that i was sent a long time ago creme de corps Creme de corps. Creme de corps. I can't speak French, but I can pretend. Um, I think it's basically there. Superb all over body moisturizer of superb quality for extremely dry or flaking skin. So I've been using this. I love the color. It's just like a yellowy kind of like, I don't know, it looks, it reminds me of like a chemist's. Like it's very medical looking, but in kind of a cool French way. <laughs> I don't know. It just reminds me of like a French pharmacy. This is basically exactly what it says. It's body cream for dry skin. And I have been keeping this on my bedside table and using it on my feet. You guys know that I used that Burt's Bees stuff, the coconut oil or coconut, um, I can't remember, but the really thick stuff. That was amazing when my feet were in really bad condition. Now they're not cracked anymore. So I've just been using something that is a little bit lighter because you don't really need to use that extra thick like lanolin based cream if it's not, if your feet aren't cracked or like super dry. I just use this as like a regular moisturizer for my feet that isn't heavy heavy duty but this works really well it keeps them really soft um i just like how it looks on my bedside table i actually pulled this out of the bin which is kind of gross but <laughs> real life over here after i had alessia i was sent so much baby stuff so so many baby products so many different brands reached out to me i just my p.o box was inundated with baby products and it's been really difficult to kind of like filter through what's good what i like what i don't like but these are some products that I've been sent that I really, really do like. So Child's Farm is a brand that I hadn't really used. I had like dabbled in some of their soaps, like their hand washes, but nothing. Like I was always like a Burt's Bees girl when it came to my kids and like washing my kids. Um, but this stuff came to me in my P.O. box, I think. Yeah, it did. In my P.O. box after Alessia was born. And I just really, really like their stuff. I've been working through everything and this, the scent alone is just to die for. So this is their Child's Farm Hair and Body Wash. I love when they do like two in one. That's just amazing because you don't want to have tons of different products for babies anyway. It's 
contains blackberry and organic apple and the scent of this is just so it smells like an apple crumble or like blackberry crumble and I like the color as well, the purple. Of course, Amelia loves this. It's suitable for newborns and upwards, and it's got over 98% naturally, naturally derived ingredients. So I find these brands really good for little babies and kids. I just really love the smell of this, and I love how it works on both Amelia and Eduardo and Alessia. I've also been using, this is just a little, travel size version but i've been using this which is their body moisturizer this is suitable for sensitive and eczema prone skin it's got shea and cocoa butter in it and i just i love it because they're very natural they're not too fragrant they're not there's not too many perfumes in there or fragrances in there it's just natural and kind to their skin on to the tmi portion of this video so if you don't want to watch this part just click off now so basically I get waxed down there and I have been doing so for about I want to say a year and a half maybe probably about a year and a half definitely before I got pregnant with Alessia was when I started I used to shave and then I started getting razor burn and I will tell you your skin changes <laughs> like obviously pregnancy and hormones and all that stuff comes into play but I think probably even pregnancy aside, your skin just changes as you get older and as you age and as different things happen to you. So my skin used to be fine with shaving for years and years and years. And then all of a sudden I started getting razor burn and it was so painful and uncomfortable. So that's when I started looking into waxing. So I started waxing, everything was absolutely fine. I never got, I remember like my waxing girl would be like, have you ever gotten ingrown hair? And I'd say, no, like, I've never experienced that and she would always say you're so lucky because they're really painful and just irritating but I never experienced it and for months and months and months throughout the whole pregnancy I was fine and then all of a sudden I started getting ingrown hairs and at first I didn't even know what it was but I would just get really itchy um, and then I discovered what it was so I needed to get rid of them <laughs> and they are so uncomfortable. Nobody wants to go through that, especially if they've been through the pain of waxing. Like, why would you want something else to deal with? So the girl that does my waxing uh, recommended this stuff, which is by Skin Doctors. You can get it on Amazon. And this is Ingrow Go. <laughs> Ingrow Go. This stuff is amazing. You just wipe it on the area, either like, you know, your underarms or down there or your legs or wherever you get ingrown hairs. For me, it's usually down there. And you just wipe it. I do it every single day after my shower because I like to take hot showers, which you're not meant to do if you do get waxed, especially like right after, but I do it anyway. <laughs> you're not meant to sweat either, which we all know that I do a lot of anyway. So I'm probably doing all of the things that you're not meant to do to prevent uh, ingrown hairs, but that's probably why I get them. But this stuff, you just take a little pad, like a cotton pad and just wipe it on the area and it prevents them. You just have to remember to do it regularly. So initially I just thought you did it to get rid of them, but it's actually a preventative. So you do it in order to prevent, not to get rid of, if that makes sense. So I think that's pretty much it with the beauty stuff. Now onto the exciting stuff, food. You know what? I feel like all of my food is always so grain based. Like I was just looking at the stuff that I brought up and I was like, oh my God, every time I talk about food, it's either a cereal, a granola bar, um, <laughs> a cookie. Like they're always grain-based or like oat-based. It's really weird. Anyway, um, okay, <laughs> moving along. So the first thing you've probably seen if you watch my What Ate Wednesdays and it is the Rude Health Muesli, the ultimate muesli. Oh my god, this stuff is just incredible. It fills me up so much in the morning where I don't even need to snack until lunchtime. It is 23 ingredients, no refined sugars, wheat-free, high fiber, whole grains, organic. I really don't care about any of those things. I just care that it tastes nice. And it has a ton of fruit in there, like dried fruit, which I love. I love the dates and the raisins and all that. So if you like that, you will like this. Um, I've been having that with warm milk, like heated up for my breakfast almost every single day. And I love it. And then the next thing is very, very, very similar and embarrassingly so. I just think I have like the same, obviously my taste buds are very like granola based because <laughs> it's 
this flapjack by Grey's Box and I really like this. Jonathan got me into these. He started snacking on them for his like afternoon snack with a coffee. They are incredible. We used to get Grey's boxes and these would be his favorite. So then I found out that you can actually buy the Grey's box things separately. I think they're just called Grey's now actually. It is a pack of three. I mean, I don't know anybody that would not eat the three though. I don't know anyone that would just eat one or two. <laughs> Like, if you're going to open the pack, you're going to eat the three, right? <laughs> like, what's the point? But for some reason, they have... Maybe you're meant to share. Again, who would share? <laughs> who would want to share this stuff? It looks like it's two, but it's actually three. They they cut them up into three. No idea why. It's got pumpkin seeds, uh, apricot, vine fruits. And it is... Mm -mm, to die for. I just love these. They're so yummy. They're really Moorish. They're whole grain. They've got seven fruits and seeds in there. If you're really hungry and you need something that's borderline healthy for a an afternoon snack, if you want to pick up this rather than like a chocolate bar, I recommend it because you get your grains and your seeds in there. Just trying to justify it. But um, yeah, really been loving them with a cup of coffee. So those are my November favorites. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe for more. I upload Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And I will see you all on Wednesday. Bye.